I'm Jenny Driggers, and I'm a scientist here at the LIGO Hanford Observatory. Here we are in the control room where we're working on final preparations in getting ready for our next observation run. Uh, this observation run starts Monday, 8 a.m. for us local time uh, on April 1st, and we hope to be observing for at least one calendar year, so this is going to be a big, long observing run, um, and we're really excited about all of the new gravitational waves that we hope to detect. We've had lots of upgrades, both here and at our sister site in Louisiana, as well as our colleagues at the Virgo Interferometer in Italy. We've upgraded the interferometers with things like new lasers that are higher quality than the ones we've had before, new mirrors, so that our mirrors are also better quality and we can keep the laser light bouncing to where it ought to be. We've also put in <coughs> baffles to collect any stray light. So we want the laser light to be in the interferometer bouncing between the mirrors where it should be and we don't want it anywhere else. So if any laser light happens to bounce off of the mirrors to the wrong direction, it'll get caught by these baffles and won't contaminate our gravitational wave detector. Another big thing that we've added at our interferometer is a quantum squeezer. We're manipulating the quantum state of light itself so that we can improve our sensitivity at high frequency. Um, all of these upgrades are giving us more than double the volume of the universe that we're going to be able to see gravitational waves in. So recall that for our first and second observing runs, we've detected 11 gravitational wave events. So with this doubling the volume of the universe we're, that we're sensitive to, we're really excited for all of the new detections that we'll make in our next observing run.